Okay, hey tap folk. Um, I think I'm just going to record a quick tutorial on adding, um, quitting, and resetting using the keyboard. Because this is like the minimal amount of work you would want to do. Just so that when you do create your game, you're going to have the ability to quit or restart. Even if you decide not to add UI elements or interactable objects that um, trigger these events, this is what you should do. So, I'm going to delete this thing. Um, so this is just a level that I made. Uh, I think I made it in a recent video um, where this is what happens. Hit play. So there's that red cube over there, right? I'm going to pick it up somehow. Okay, I picked it up, and now I'm going to touch that guy with it. Oops. And he dies. Spectacularly. And, uh... So this is a level I call Test 12 AI Death. And, um... Maybe the first thing I'll show you is the build settings. So if you go to... So I'm on a Mac now but it might be slightly different on the Windows. Um, so under File, Build Settings, um, this is what you'll see, something like this. Usually this thing is empty, so I, you, I just delete the, deleted that. So it might look something like this. Um, you should be on your platform, should be PC, Mac, Linux, something like that, or just PC, Linux. Um, and what you can do is, since my scene is already open, and that's the scene that I want to use to start, um, basically this scenes in the build is what you're going to see. It's, what, it's what's going to show up when you run the game. So since we have just this one scene, and if I add this scene, that's the scene that's going to run when we build the game. And so if you have just one scene, and you just want to package that up and give it to your friends, you would add that scene here, then hit build and run, and it's going to ask you what do you want to save it as. Um, you can create a folder somewhere. Um, I just called it one thing here, but I'll, I'll change that. So I'm going to create a new folder. Um, this might be different on Windows, actually. So, and Unity changes the way that this build function behaves. So sometimes it takes a little trial and error. And what I mean by that is if I give it a name, like if I call this the builds folder and create it, and then I go to save it as, and I'll call it um, um, AI death game. In theory, we're going to build the whole game under this name, AI Death Game, uh, under, and it's going to live under this folder. But I think there's times when the, the save as name and the folder name have to be the same. I think that's how it behaves on the Windows side, so it's, it gets confusing and annoying. I'm just warning you in advance. So right now it's building. It finished building, and then it ran the game. So this is what you would see when you run the game. This um, dialog box that asks you what graphics quality you want to use and what screen resolution. And you can hide this, um, this from showing up if you want. Well, let's just click play. And it, it by default, um, especially with the free version, you're going to get that Unity logo at the beginning. So here's our game, and we're running around, and um, the, our guy, he bumps into that thing, and he dies. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a thing and just kind of toss it around or something. Okay, anyway, so now I, I guess I want to restart the game, so I hit R. Oh, right, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't added that functionality yet. So that's the thing is it's kind of frustrate, frustrating. You're going to have to f like force quit out of it. Um, 
I can on the Mac I can hit Command Q. On Windows it's Alt F4. You can close a window that way. So we want to add the ability to shut this down like a normal application and have an actual quit command. But ours will be very simple because it's only going to be like two lines of code. And um, all I want to do is show you how to have the Q button quit or the R button to restart. So I'm going to go to the create um, menu under the hierarchy uh, panel and create empty. And it creates this thing called game object. And I'm just going to name this game scripts, which may seem strange. It is strange. We're creating an empty object, and all it is is um, a thing that holds on to some scripts that we want to run, which gives the game some functionality. So I'm going to add a component, and um, I'm going to name it uh, quit and restart just to make it different from the one I wrote earlier before this video. Quit and restart and create and add that. Let's give it a second till this kind of wakes up. Okay, it's catching up. There it goes. And now I'm just going to double click here where it created the script and it's going to open the script. And this is what we're going to do. Um, you can leave all this stuff here. Basically, two commands um, with conditionals. So the conditional. We want it to respond when we hit the Q button. So it's input and that's using the input manager. Get key down because we want it to happen when the key gets pressed. We don't want it to happen repeatedly as we're holding down the key because that would be bad. Um, and it tells us we can have a key here. So that's called key code is what enables the ab ability to just give it a, a letter. And I, we want it to be a Q. All right. Oops. Undo that. I think it's lowercase. Let's see. Does it say key code? Key code. Oh, it should be capital. Okay. And then, um, so if, oh, I didn't, do, I didn't say if, if, and in parentheses, input dot key, get key down, key code Q, close that paren parentheses, parentheses, yeah. Um, and then give it some curly brackets. So that's an open and close curly bracket. Maybe I'll just, for consistency, because I think this is what I've been doing, is using this uh, convention, is have the curly brackets beneath the thing that sort of so that they line up perfectly I guess is the main thing. So if you hit Q what happens? We're gonna say application dot quit like that with the two parentheses and then we're gonna say when somebody hits the R key um, and you can actually just copy this line. If you're lazy like me, let's call it efficiency. Except let's change that to an R, capital R. And then we'll add the two brackets and we'll say application dot load level. And this gives you a few options. And in a previous tutorial, don't know if it's one that I recorded, but it's one that I gave during class. I gave the name of the, the, the level. This time I want to just say load level zero. And what that means is it's going to load the first level that opens up when this game runs. Um, I think it's easier. Um, that way you can copy this into any game it just has one level and it'll re this is how it'll restart. 
So what I might even do is put in a little comment here, R to restart. These are just notes for yourself to look at. Q to quit. But that's it. That's our entire little piece of code that we're going to need. And I'm going to hit Control S to save this. Or actually, I hit Command S on the Mac because it's different. So I go back to my game. And, uh, or back to Unity, I mean. And it should just work right out of the box. It should work fine because I'm pretty sure I didn't make any mistakes. Um, it must have already compiled because that thing's not spinning. So if I hit play, now this is where things are a little misleading. The R button will work. So I can run around and then hit R to restart and it restarts. Um, and I've explained this in other, either in another video or during a class. The lighting changed and that's because when you run it in the, in the when you run, restart a level in the editor, this is when we're using Unity, it's called the editor, it doesn't use baked lighting when it loads um, levels on the fly like this. But it will work properly when we've created our um, standalone application. And now the other thing that's misleading, aside from the lighting looking weird, is if I hit Q, the game doesn't quit because uh, I guess it just um, that's just how it is. Because I guess it it I guess it doesn't want to quit out of Unity, and that's the reason. So. So then we'll go to the build settings, which is under file, build settings. And this is still the same. Right, because we talked about this already. Let me just save. So that thing has the little star next to the name. So I'm going to hit Command S to save it to make sure it's saved. Go back to the build settings. And um, while we're here, I might as well talk about something else. If you go to player settings and then look over here, this is actually all of the settings that affect the final game that you're making. So like you can come up with a company name, call it whatever you want, fake name, product name, this could be um, AI killer. And that's actually going to be the name of the game and I think it'll show up at the top of the window. Um, a few other things. There's some resolution thing. So the the window that pops up every time, the display resolution dialog, we could disable that if we want or or hide it by default. I think I'll just try disabled. We don't really have to look at the other settings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit build and run. And it's going to bring this thing up again. And I guess it's, I want it to be the same as before. So I'm going to replace this. And this is going to look totally different on Windows, this file. So in, on the Mac, it's a nice, neat thing that looks like one file, but actually it's a package. It's all condensed into one, what appears to be a single file, but it's actually a whole folder filled with all the stuff you need. So the, the game builds and it runs and here we are and I'm running around and that thing's gonna die and then you know like I say I'm giving this demo to a friend of mine and they want to see that and this is all the game does so it's kind of boring and you don't want to have to quit and restart it just hit R and it restarts the level and it's just sort of of more it's a more uh, exciting way to demo this small feature that you've built. Um, just kind of resets it. And then at the end of the demo, when you're done, you just hit Q. And it's done. It quit. So we got it to quit. Um, but since I introduced this concept of multiple levels like this, um, maybe there's something else we could try just because we're here. 
So here's what I'll do. I'm going to create a new scene. And maybe we'll just call this, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> oh wait, I'm trying to double click on that, but that's not working. Um, I guess I just have to hit save scene. So what do I want to call it? I'm going to save it in scenes, by the way. I'll call it opening scene. Save that. And um, I just wanted to display some text, I guess. <clears throat> what if I create a plain... Okay, something is weird about this. No, the camera angle was weird. Okay, but in the camera it looks like that. Yeah, that's weird. So there is a sky. I don't know why my scene view doesn't have the sky in it. What's going on here? Do I need that? Okay, that's something I almost never click. I guess it turns on the sky box and fog and stuff. And I guess I had the audio to toggled off too. Oh boy. Okay. Well, anyway. There's my plane, which I'm just going to make it a black plane, I guess. Maybe just make it really big. Maybe rotate it. Um, create. Wait, I'll do it down here. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. Create a material. Make it just some dark color, because I want it to be dark. Um, I'll call it dark material. Drag that up onto that. Maybe it's too smooth. I don't know. It's it's okay. It, it's got that cool highlight there. What the heck? Why not? In, in the camera view, it looks really wrong. So, um, how do I fix that? Can I... Can I go to game, or how about game object align view, align with view. No, undo that. Select the camera and align with view. So now the, the game camera is aligned to the view of my scene camera. That's an odd one. Trust me, I know it's odd. Okay. Um, all I really want to do is show you that you could have a thing here. Let's make a 3D object. Let's do it a text, 3D text object. It looks like it's rotated, so I'm going to rotate it here to 90 degrees, or maybe minus 90 since it's backwards. Um, I'm going to change this to. Um, Welcome to my game. Set that to middle center. Let's do that thing where we make the font size big, like 50, and then scale this whole thing down. So I'm going to hit R and drag that. And uh, maybe even rotate it so that it's not all weird. And it's white text. Maybe we could change that. So this is my opening scene. It's simple. Um, I'm going to add this to my build settings. So file, build settings, and we'll add it. But I want opening scene to be the first scene like that. And then maybe in that case, we're going to need to have opening scene open the game or the test a test 12 AI death oh I forgot about that okay I thought this was gonna be really simple so we're gonna create empty and we're gonna say um, hit any key to start 
is the name of my script, create and add, double click on that. So this will be if input.getKey, I'm going to have to Google that, Unity 3D get any key, input.any key, any key down, okay, I see it. So change this to input dot any key down, boom. And it's not even a function, it's like a boolean. So it doesn't have the extra parentheses. And it's also lowercase. These are the conventions that they follow, but it's nice to know. So hit S, Control S or whatever you're doing to save it. And save this scene. Maybe I'll call that um, maybe double click on whoops. Shouldn't have double clicked it. Oh no, that's okay. Um, game scripts again. Hit play. Tap a key. It loads the first level. Hit R. It goes back to this. Tap a key. So maybe um, maybe my game, my welcome text should say, oops, press any key to start. It's not ideal. I'd like that text to be smaller. <laughs> I don't suppose I could have different font sizes on different lines. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna change it, but I am gonna change the alignment. There, that's a little neater. So I'm saving it. If we look at our build settings, it loads the opening scene, which has the press any key thing. It goes to the first level, which has the restart function, and then it also has the quit function. So the opening scene should probably also have a quit function. <laughs> So I'm going to go back into my opening scene scripts and I might as well give it the same exact script that we wrote before. This one, quit and restart. Is this the one? I think so. Add component, quit. Whoops. I mean, that's also the script, but um, this is the one that we wrote together during this video. So I'm going to hit Control S to save it. Press play. Of course, the quit button won't actually do anything. Um, but the R button would restart. Oh, it restarts the level. Oh, the hit any key thing. Oh my god, hit any key thing runs before the quit and restart thing. So I think we have to move this up so that the Q and the R buttons will um, will be kind of like evaluated and then that would happen because this one takes any key and it goes to level one. So then it was ignoring this quit and restart thing. That's pretty funny. It's the order of operations that matters. So if I hit R, it should actually restart, which would mean that it should do nothing because it'll go back to this. No, it actually ignored my restart. Oh, that time it worked. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the whole order of operation thing is quite a strange concept. And that's okay. I'm not going to fix this because um, we're getting a little too tweaky with details. I'm going to I'm going to build and run and sit here and wait. There's my game.
there it is. Welcome to my game. So, in theory, I can hit Q and it just quits, which it did. Oh yeah, we called it AI death game. <clears throat> I'm gonna, this time instead of R or Q, I'll hit the space bar. I'll run, run this game a little bit. Um, kill the guy with my red box of death. And then I'll hit R to restart. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. I think it's it made me laugh because I kind of wanted the level to restart. Instead, the whole game started. Um, I want to pick up the red box. There it is. I'm going to kill that guy. And now I'll hit Q to quit. And that's it. We can restart. We can quit. We have a welcome screen. So that's kind of cool. That's different. It was easy to do. Hopefully you agree that it was easy. Um, it just feels a little bit more professional. Maybe it's more professional if we have a quit screen. Um, there's a lot of options. Hopefully you'll see this and try to add those things yourself. And um, that's it, I guess. So that's it. See you. See you later.